Hi everyone, thanks for taking the time to stop by and check out this keto eggnog recipe video. I will tell you that this recipe is a labor of love, but it's well worth it because the taste is spot on as traditional eggnog and there's only 1.5 grams of net carbs per one cup serving. Okay, we're gonna jump right in to your ingredients. You're going to need egg yolks, monk fruit sweetener, vanilla, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, whole cloves, unsweetened original almond milk, and whipping cream, also called light cream or non-heavy whipping cream. For a full list of kitchen utensils, please see the description box below. So to start, you're going to need to separate your egg yolks from your egg whites. Um, you can do this in whatever method you feel most comfortable with. I am going to show you the water bottle egg hack if you've never seen it before. That's the way that I'm the fastest at it, is by using the uh, water bottle. So you take the water bottle, you empty it, take the lid off, you squeeze it, hold it squeezed as you press it down to the top of the egg yolk, and then release so that the water bottle sucks the egg yolk up inside and then just drip off the egg yolks and then release your egg yolk into your separate bowl. And you're gonna repeat that 12 times for all 12 eggs. Okay, so now that you've got your egg yolk separated out, you're gonna add that to whatever bowl it is that you're gonna be using to mix the egg yolks and the monk fruit sweetener together. I'm using a stand mixer, but that's just because there's just one of me by myself um, doing this. If you have a helper who can help you, a traditional hand mixer will work as well. I like the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener, but you can use any sugar substitute. Um, I use one cup in this recipe. You can use one cup or one and a half cups, depending on how sweet you would like it. If you are a person who traditionally cuts your eggnog with milk, you're definitely gonna to wanna to use one cup. Then I'm gonna turn the um, mixer to a medium low setting and let that mix together, just the egg yolks and the monk fruit sweetener um, on a medium to low setting until light and fluffy. It takes about 60 seconds or so. And while that is uh, mixing together, I did just wanna take the time to say thank you for st stopping by to check out this video and wanna invite you to subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Also, if you give it a thumbs up and share, that goes a long way as well. Okay, next we're gonna take our four cups of unsweetened almond milk and pour it into our pan. Then we're going to add our vanilla extract. You're going to use one teaspoon. Next, we're going to add our whole cloves. You're gonna use five in total. And last, we're going to add our ground cinnamon. That's half a teaspoon at this stage. Then you're gonna take your whisk and whisk it all together pretty good. And then you're going to heat this on your lowest setting until it starts to boil. It takes about seven minutes or could maybe be a little bit longer depending on what kind of stove you're using. But lowest setting until it starts to boil. Okay, so 
So now we're going to go back to our egg sugar mixture. We're going to turn the mixer back to a medium low setting and we're going to temper the milk, temper the eggs with the hot milk. We're going to slowly add about a quarter cup at a time with the entire time the mixer is going so that you don't end up cooking any of the eggs with the hot milk. And this is again um, where the stand mixer comes in handy, but again, you can definitely do this with a hand mixer. You're just going to have to make sure you have two people, one to run the hand mixer and the other to slowly pour in the milk. Or if you're very versatile, you can do it by yourself probably. And you will notice as you add it all in that it will get a little bit foamy on you. And then you're going to take the combined mixture and pour that back into your pan. Scrape in all the foam. And you're going to turn this to medium heat for three minutes. Stirring the entire time again so that you don't cook any of the eggs. And you want it to get just warm enough, but you don't want it to boil. Definitely don't want it to boil. And then you're going to take a strainer back over your mixing bowl um, and pour this in about one cup at a time through the strainer so that you're getting out any, um, any foam, any of the, uh, getting out the cloves for sure, and then any eggs that might have curdled or cooked as you were pouring in the hot milk to the egg mixture. Then you're going to want to pour the whole pan in there to get all the flavor out of the bottom. Remove the extra. And then you're going to cover and chill for one hour. I like to use the Glad Press and Seal, or if the bowl you're using has a lid, that's great too. But you don't want to pour it out of the mixing bowl yet because we still have to add the cream back in. So again, in the fridge for one hour. And then we're going to add in our four cups of light cream or non-heavy whipping cream. And this is essentially just a stir. So I'm going to turn the mixer back on low once I get everything added in for just a few seconds to get it all stirred together. So again, four cups of the cream. And next, we're going to add in another teaspoon of your vanilla extract. And then we're going to add in one half teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I'm just going to turn that on low again, just to get everything mixed in and incorporated. And now if you were going to add um, rum to your eggnog so that the entire batch has the rum incorporated, this would be the step where you would do that. But if you're not going to, then you would just um, chill this overnight or for at least eight hours. And then as you can see here, you can add your um, sugar-free whipped cream, cinnamon sticks, nutmeg or cinnamon on top. Thank you guys for stopping by to watch this video today. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season.